Climate change poses a severe threat to global food security, particularly in agriculture. Rising temperatures, changing precipitation patterns, and increasing frequency of extreme weather events are all disrupting the traditional farming practices and hence reducing crop yields. We're here to tackle the challenge of declining seed diversity in the Asia Pacific region. In recent years, there has been significant crop genetic erosion in the Asia Pacific due to a host of reasons, including intensive monoculture farming, vulnerability to pest outbreaks, and climate change impacts. Bananas, a staple food for millions, face a serious issue lack of genetic diversity. With commercial industries relying on the Cavendish variety, frequent human intervention has made these bananas seedless and thus propagated through cuttings from existing plants, leading to genetic uniformity. This makes them vulnerable to pests, diseases, and climate change. Bananas are also underrepresented in seed banks, with wild banana seeds being difficult to store in traditional seed banks due to germination issues. The current storage of genes in plain unsanitized jars and plastic containers means they are highly susceptible to harmful pathogens. Welcome to Global Geography News. Today, our top story is a new solution to a crisis regarding gene banks. To mitigate drought impacts on Vietnamese rice farmers, we're combining drip irrigation with vertical farming. This approach optimises land use and simultaneously cuts water usage for crop maintenance. That's why we propose a solution combining in-situ and ex-situ conservation strategies to broaden the narrow genetic base in the Asian Pacific. We can mitigate the impact of the climate crisis on agriculture through the conservation of tolerant varieties that can be reintroduced when needed, ensuring that future generations will have access to diverse and robust banana strains. This ensures long-term food security by preserving ecosystems that support agricultural growth, fostering a balanced environment and strengthening our fight against climate change. And that is why our solution is so vital to restoring food insecurity in the Asian Pacific region.